Here with Coach Cosgrove. Coach, please uh, discuss uh, what's going on with Maine football and the upcoming NFL draft. Well, it's uh, a week in a week in, a, in advance of uh, uh, what is now fast becoming a very uh, big day in, uh, in the calendar year for a lot of people. Um, there's been some excitement in and around the program. I think uh, obviously the fact the matter is we we have seven guys on NFL rosters right now, which you know, we're real proud of. Uh, um, from guys like Stephen Cooper, who have been uh, in the NFL since 2003, uh, to most recently Jovan Belcher making it with the Kansas City Chiefs last year. Uh, real exciting for the guys in and around the program. A lot of anticipation, you know, for the day itself. And uh, I think this year, um, you know, like recent years, there's been some names that have surfaced as uh, having great opportunities. I, I think number one guy that I'd have to uh, speak to would be would be Tyler Eastman from right up here at the in Greenbush Maine and Old Town High School um, Tyler was uh, just got back from a week down in Atlanta with the Falcons uh, uh, there's been a lot of interest in Tyler uh, I think uh, without a doubt his stock has risen tremendously um, rumors are that he's a late round draft pick those are the kind of things that we're hearing, and that would be very exciting for us to see that happen. Um, the other guy that's gotten a lot of interest of late would be Jordan Stevens from uh, uh, that booming metropolis of Temple, Maine, uh, in Mount Blue High School. Um, Jordan, we've received a number of calls. In fact, uh, one today, one yesterday. Uh, today from the Rams, yesterday from the uh, from the Dolphins. Uh, you know, uh, in regards to Jordan, I think Jordan's stock really went up at his, uh, on our pro day. I know that uh, a couple of the scouts that were here that day, and in particular the Kansas City Chiefs, were very, very excited um, about Jordan's workout. So perhaps that information has been passed around, and, and uh, you know, as a result, I think there's a, uh, a heightened interest in perhaps uh, Jordan Stevens and, and what he uh, would bring to an NFL roster. Don't know if that's in... in Anything other than a free agent opportunity, I, I think probably at best that's what it is. Um, but for, for all of us here, that's exciting to, exciting news for Jordan and, and uh, our football program. Um, the other guys, I, I think that people are asking about Landis Williams, uh, Michael Brusco, and, and uh, Brandon McLaughlin. Um, you know, probably not as much activity in and around them, uh, but I think all of them have uh, had very good workouts. I, I know that Brandon was very excited about his workout uh, in Pittsburgh. He went home and, and uh, used that NFL rule where you can work out within a 50 mile radius of your hometown. He's from Pittsburgh, worked out at uh, Pitts Pro Day. Uh, Michael and Landis didn't have that opportunity. They, they, they're uh, kind of relying on the, the data and, and their performances here. So it, it's, it's sometimes hard to predict. Uh, um, you know, unless you get a call, you really don't know. So. You know, the fact is that they've called about Tyler. Uh, in fact, he's scheduled for a workout Sunday up here with an NFL team. Um, you know, that they've called about Jordan. So those are two that we know there's a, a, a level of interest in. Um, the others we're kind of playing wait and see on and, and hoping for the best for them.